Okay, the deadline for our presentation critique has come. Remember, you need to get something submitted into the right discussion within Canvas on the day that it is due before 11.59 p.m. in order to be able to resubmit for more points later. So the, the only way to get a zero on an assignment is to turn in nothing and let the deadline go past. And if that happens, then that art director is not calling you again. So you cannot resubmit after getting a zero. You can only resubmit after turning something in, even if it's just your sketch. So we get used to knowing that it could be better and being frustrated about how long it takes and knowing there's like gaps that need to be filled and stuff that still needs to be done and yet turning it in anyway. So at this point, I'm going to hit File, Save. Make sure you have it saved as a PSD onto your computer, not just the cloud. Make sure that's going where you want it to. So mine is going right here where I opened it from. Right. And then you can say file, save a copy. Again, onto your computer. I like to do it onto my desktop. So Command D to navigate there. And under save a copy, this is also where you can save the cloud documents, but not yet. We're going to save it as a JPEG. Now this will save it at full resolution. So much better than a screen grab for our process. This is saving this at the full 8x10x350 by by you know, resolution where you can see the little hairs on the, on the raspberry in the foreground, right? The little dots in the whipped cream. Just every little detail. Some that we might want to fix. Now this is kind of the magic step. Because it's been saved in Photoshop, I can close Photoshop. If you wanted to save it to your cloud, you could do that. Yeah, I should probably do that. And you do that just by saying file, save a copy, but always save it to your computer first. Save to cloud documents. And as long as you're logged into your Adobe, I can keep the same name. And while that's going on, I can go to Canvas and I can edit my post or post a new post if you haven't posted yet. You want to post, like it says in the directions, your sketch and then your final raster composite. And if you have process work, you just add it on. And I might even label this final as of deadline because I might come back and refine this. And then you're going to use the little blogger tools here. You're going to use the upload image tool so we can see your work instead of just attaching it. And I'm going to pull it, the JPEG right from the desktop and put it in. But before I do that, I can double click on my JPEG and open it up in preview. And I can crop it without worrying about messing up my um, Photoshop file, right? And I can play with a cropped composition that I might like that hides some of my flaws, like this part that's not composited. And to crop within preview, you just hit Command K. And it might take a little while because these are high res files now. And now I close it. You can do other little things in uh, in preview that's kind of nice. You can do like little color adjustments, but we'll learn those later. And now I'm going to move that cropped file in. And this is my best composite landscape as of the deadline. And then shrink it so it's not too huge once it comes in, because it will be huge. It will fill everything. Now, why do we bring it in at full scale? It's so, as a, a means of last resort, there has at least been a full pixel resolution scale JPEG saved in the class. So if you lose all of your files, but you still want some 
reminder of what you worked on, you could take it from here, and that is print resolution. It's a JPEG, it's a loss compression, but it's only one generation of loss compression. So this isn't a bad, like, extra backup. Whereas if you tried to just steal the screen grab from here, you wouldn't be able to do much with it. And what's the point of saving everything at such high resolution <laughs> if all you end up is with a screen grab? Okay, so that's how we turn it in. Then we have to organize our work, right? You close it. You go back to your desktop. And the JPEG, I, I like to mark as orange that we turned into Canvas. I put that into my folder. And then I mark my PSD as green. And I mark my online file as orange. And I'll move my other references in. And now I am done with the deadline for assignment one and I got something submitted. Doesn't mean I can't revisit it. We will be revisiting it for our first proving ground. All right. And you can see we made a lot of progress just today from the rough cutouts to like really shifting the colors and cutting things out cleanly. Can we add more? Yes, we can add atmospheric effects so not everything looks so sharp edged. We can uh, help the composition with the digital compositing. I can definitely work on this. But what I'm asking you from the presentation critique today is do you think you achieved three layers of depth? And I'm going to say yes. I can identify immediate foreground, I can identify middle ground, and I can identify far background. So at least in that aspect, I have something to build from, and I can keep enhancing that. But I've got real setting and landscape here.